Hey guys, this is the VMB A71 here with a toy review. Now, um, I know it's been a little bit since I actually did a toy review, since my Ghidorah review, but, um, uh, since I just did my collection update video, I decided to review a monster from that. Um, the one I chose to review is the 1991 Monster Larva figure. It's the 14-inch one I got. Um, okay. Start this out. Mo this month is from the Stroh Monsters, like I said, and uh, I'm this. I'm only gonna say the part from the Stroh Monsters because this is the version we have here, and uh, I guess his his this this guy's history is basically the same as uh, well, this monster's history is basically the same as uh, Manda here, but um, except. It goes a little bit different. Like Mothra, instead of, he uh, attacked Beijing, and then well, that's really the only thing different. He attacked Beijing, and he actually did something to fight against Ghidorah. So yeah, Mothra attacked Beijing after being controlled by the Keylock aliens. Then he attacked Tokyo with Godzilla, Mando, and Rodan, and then he um f uh, sprayed web on Ghidorah with Kamanga and the destroy the monsters fight, and then um. Went to back to Monster Island, and that's pretty much it for this guy. History, at least for this version. Now, for a bit of detail, this looks pretty good in my opinion. I like the um how it's kind of brown, then it has the red highlight. I mean the um the blackish highlights in between the figures. And then on the tail, they have those, those highlights going up and down. Uh, the most accurate thing that on this figure would be the eyes. This is one of the only um, monster figures I know that actually has the red eyes he had in the Straw Monsters. Um, I guess the mouth. Not too much detail in the mouth, as you can see, I guess. But right here, it's a bit pokey right here, so that kind of hurt if you really press on it. Uh, let's, get, let's get a look at the tag. I haven't taken the tag off yet, and I probably won't. Still, yeah, this looks close enough to this figure. Um, the underside of it, as you can see. That is a fair amount of detail, but like the 8 inch um, monster larva figure from the DAM that ZSZ has, he only has 6 suction cups on the top of here, so yeah, it's really. Detail is. Uh, okay, I guess. Not the best, but it's fairly decent. Now for articulation. Um, he. I guess you could say it has a point, but this point I'm talking about, really, it's just supposed to hold the figure together. I mean, so you see a seam right here, I guess. You can slightly rotate that because of the shape of the body like this. How it's flat on the bottom and just round on the top. You really can't move it. Well, I guess you can kind of move it because I've moved it fairly far for but I swear you got to be a fucking bodybuilder to move it. I guess if you really, really tried hard enough, it could go 360, but... It takes a whole lot out of you just to move it this far. So, yeah. That's really all you can do in terms of articulation. So, my like that. So, uh, yeah. Really just can't say he has any at all, really. really. Like I said, that's probably just there to hold this figure together. Now for a bit of size comparison. Um, I guess let's try... 68 Godzilla from Bandai Creation. Uh, well, like I said, this thing is 14 inches long, so I'm just gonna get this angle right here. And that's pretty, that's pretty off. Actually, yeah, it's really off. Um, when you see Godzilla, um, Mothra coming up behind Godzilla and at the fight, he was not that long. Actually, for this little shot right here, it's throwing Minya. My glow in the dark YMSF one. Um, yeah, it's pretty inaccurate right there because Minya probably should have been about that big or something a bit bigger. So, yeah. That's really off right here. Uh, Alright, get Godzilla out of here. Let's get Minya out of here. I guess we can try for a shot right here. Let's try one and stuff right in. Um, well, the, the really all you see of the of these two in a shot is Mothra kind of like in the corner like that, and you see Rodan come down like that, and 
no. I guess he, I guess one of the other problems with the size on this figure is because of how fat he is. Yes, it's a pretty fat figure, and Rodan looked pretty damn big compared to him, like that big, somewhere around there or something. Oh no! All right, get Rodan out of here. And for rarity on this guy, uh, he's part of the 1991 series. Uh, he's pretty rare. It's um, well, I don't know if he's. I guess you can say somewhat common, but it's he still he goes for a really high price. He'll go for sixty or seventy dollars. I lucked out and I won him for thirty one on a bid. And but he usually only goes for like sixty dollars if you can get him with a tag, something or something like that. So yeah, I I lucked out. Like I said, I got him with a tag and he was only thirty one dollars. So still, it's a it's a good figure and I enjoy having it. I I know it's not. I know pretty, some of the other people out there just don't really think it looks that good, but still, I, I would recommend getting it, even though it doesn't really fit well in scale at all. So yeah, it's really, it's a good figure, I'd say get it. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for this toy review, um, hope you all enjoyed it, so I'll see y'all later.